Good morning, Stampers. Happy Friday. Welcome to another week of Facebook Lives. I am just going to update my screen so that I can see your comments. Be sure to say hi as you pop in and join us. There we go. Okay, so my name is Sherry Roth. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Canada. And every Friday at 11, well, I shouldn't say every Friday, most Fridays at 11, I pop in live on Facebook and do some crafting with you. So I'm excited to be here to share with you today. Uh, last week, we cr I created this 12 by 12 scrapbook page using um, the June Paper Pumpkin Kit. Super, super cute. I love how it turned out. And then you just pop the pictures in here. So every week I draw for a lucky winner. And the way that you get entered to win is by commenting. Good morning, Shara. Uh, commenting on the Facebook Live or the YouTube replay. Um, or the Facebook replay. Doesn't matter whether you're watching live or the replay. I love to hear who's watching. Be sure to say hi. I'd love to see hear where you're from. Um, and if you share this video, then you get five entries. So the the thing with this week's giveaway, normally they're cards, but the thing with this week's giveaway, because it's a 12 by 12, it costs a ton to mail. Um, so it does have to be a local winner. So I've got everybody's name in here, and if I happen to draw somebody who's out of town, I'll send them something different, okay? So I'm gonna draw for the lucky winner of this scrapbook page. We had lots of entries, actually. And Kristen Henry. All right, so she's local. So Kristen, in case you are not watching live, well, I don't think you're on live, I will send you an email and let you know that you won. So congratulations. Good morning, Shirley. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around and we're gonna go ahead and get, get started. All right, just bear with me for a second. Okay, just gonna give it a minute to catch up, make sure I can see what you guys are seeing. All right, okay, I think we're good. So yesterday I posted on Facebook um, asking for suggestions on what you would like to see and not a ton of people commented. So um, there were a couple people who commented on the um, Noble Peacock Suite. So we are going to use that today. So I wanted to point out something in the catalog here. So for all of our suites that are in the catalog, um, they are kind of spread out over two pages. So you get a page with all these gorgeous samples, everything that's included in the suite, and then the next page usually breaks it down to the stamp set and then any of the DSP that coordinates with it. So on pages 24 and 25 um, is the nice big display of the Noble Peacock Suite. So we are going to use the stamp set and framelits today um, and the specialty DSP, which I'll show you in a minute. But one thing that I wanna point out that Stampin' Up! has done to make it more simple to order is if, there, if you want everything in this suite, you can enter this one product number up at the top and that will give you everything that is listed on this page. And it includes um, the bundle pricing on the stamp set and framelit or if there's punches, the stamp set and punches or punch, okay? So I wanted to point that out. So if, the, if there happens to be a suite that you want all of it of, then be sure to just use that. It saves the time of having to enter all of each one of these products. Good morning, mom. Okay, so let's go ahead and get, actually before I forget, I'm gonna, let's go back to the catalog here for a minute. So next month in July, July 19th to be specific, I will be celebrating 15 years as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I cannot believe it's been 15 years. So I wanted to do something fun. So there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, first of all, if you place an order with me using this host code between 
June 28th, so today and July 19th. Um, if your order is $50 or more, then I will send you a package of the Noble Peacock rhinestones. These rhinestones are gorgeous. Of course, it will be a full package. Good morning, Amy. Um, so you get lots of pretty colors. All those rich jewel tones, they're beautiful. And what project can use a little bit of bling, right? Um, so if you place an order, again, using that host code between those dates, I'll send you a package of those. In addition to that, you will also get your name entered into a $50 holiday catalog shopping spree. So you'll get to pick $50 worth of product out of the holiday catalog. It will be available to you beginning September, I can't remember when the holiday catalog starts, the beginning of September. So you'll be able to choose whatever you want, totaling $50 and it's on me. So for every $50 that you spend, between now and the end of July, you will get an entry for that shopping spree. If you attend a class, you will get an entry. So any of my classes in July, which there's only two of because I'm gone for a couple weeks, but you'll get an entry for that shopping spree and your order can be placed online. It can be placed in person um, or you can email it to me, okay? Um, the thing for the, the Noble Peacock rhinestones, you do need to order online using that host code. So that's the only caveat, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, first of all, let me show you the project. So this is what we're going to make, this beautiful card. And it's so simple. Really, the peacock does all the work. It's really, really pretty. I don't know if you can see that little bit of shimmer in the, the paper, that foil detailing. Yeah, I guess you can see it. So that is the specialty DSP. So there are three patterns. You get this beautiful old olive pattern, a blueberry bushel pattern, and then this beautiful pretty peacock pattern. Good morning, Barb. You're in Canmore. Boy, you're never home, Barb. Are you guys camping in Canmore? Um, okay, so first up, let me show you the stamp set and framelits. So this is the Royal Peacock stamp set and then the coordinating framelits. Um, I actually did my incentive trip swap using this stamp set, but you'll see that at a, in a future post. Um, I love this feather image. Love, love, love the feather image. And the peacock, of course, is gorgeous as well. Um, and the greetings in here are amazing. They make great um, grad cards or if somebody just got a job that they've been working for or what, like, you know, some sort of congratulations card. Like, so very proud of you. You did it. You are incredible. I mean, you are incredible. Can be used for anything. Here's to an exciting future full of new adventures. So if somebody's going on a trip, like, congratulations on such an amazing accomplish accomplishment. Love all of the greetings in there. But the great thing is you don't necessarily have to use um, those greetings with the peacock. You can combine it with another set and make birthday cards and thank you cards. And, like, the options are limitless. Okay? All right. So... Now, because this is a two-step stamp, and by what I mean, or what I mean by that, is you stamp your peacock, and then this gorgeous detail goes on top of that. Um, the Stamparatus really will help with this. So we are going to pull in our Stamparatus. Okay. So this is for those of you who aren't familiar with the Stamparatus. This is a stamp positioning tool. All right. Um, and it comes with, so you get this, you get two of these plates, you get this stamp and pierce mat, or not stamp and pierce mat, you get this uh, mat. This is actually meant to be used when you use um, photopolymer stamps, which is what these are, so our clear stamps. And then you get two magnets. A little suggestion, unless you absolutely need two magnets, so unless you're using a larger piece of cardstock, I would encourage you to only pull out one because these are super strong magnets and they will pull or snap together and often break, okay? The other thing that I suggest that I have is a silicone mat and I have one of these with each of my stamparatuses and I find just that extra little cushion just allows for a nice clean impression. Um, there is a new mat in the catalog that I'm sure serves the same purpose, and I believe it's the full size, so you could definitely use that instead. Okay, 
All right, so, and then of course we've got some coordinating products. So we've got some grid paper that fits perfectly in here. And we've got a carrying case so that you can store everything in it. So there's lots, lots of stuff that kind of goes along with it. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I am going to pull out a sheet of white cardstock. This sheet measures four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to stamp my peacock first. It doesn't matter where I stamp it because it's going to be cut out using the coordinating framelit. Okay, so um, I'm doing it sideways. Normally I would do it this way, but because I don't have a ton of space going that way, we will just leave it like this and I'll do it sideways. I'm going to use Pretty Peacock and I'm going to ink up the, the peacock. It is helpful to have a stamp case underneath. This actually brings it a little higher because I've already got a stamp on the other side. Actually, you can take that off because I'm going to show you how I lined it up afterwards. So let's take this off so it sits nicely. Okay, so that's about level and it just makes it easier to ink up if you do that. And you'll see I am not pushing hard. I am just gently tapping And I'm gonna make sure that the ink is, or the image is fully covered with ink. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to stamp it down. Just apply a little bit of pressure. Look how pretty that looks already. Okay, and now I'm gonna lift it up beautiful okay so now I'm going to give this a clean just so I don't get ink all over the place I use these this cloth this came in a roll that I picked up at Canadian Tire you can use your chamois too I just find that the chamois is a bit thick so this works perfectly I just keep it in a Ziploc bag good morning Good morning, Kim. Sorry, I got distracted. Amy says she loves the wood desk. You know what this is? This is a, um, uh, it's a butcher block kitchen island that I found for a steal of a deal at a garage sale. I picked it up for 40 bucks. It's, it's amazing. I absolutely love it. It's counter height so I can stand. This is where I cut and prep for my classes. This is where the big shot is at my classes. It's got this extension on the back so it, you can make it smaller or bigger. So if I need to move it out of the way, I put the extension down and push it against the wall. It is fabulous. I love it. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we need to go back in and we need to line this guy up. So I'm gonna show you how I do this. Let's move this guy out of the way. Okay, so this is how I do it. I'm hoping that you guys can see okay. Okay, so I'm gonna find where I think this needs to go. And the first time you do this, it does take some time to try to figure out exactly where it lines up. So all these little dots go into the little, almost like scallop details that are on there. Okay. Oh, keep moving it. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so you'll notice I didn't mention, so when I stamped my peacock, it was like this. So these actually lift up and then you can rotate it around so that you have two surfaces. So this is great if you're mass producing um, or even if you just want to leave um, some stamps on there in case you're, you want to use them again for a different project at a later date, especially these two-step stamps. Um, you can leave them on here because you know that they're gonna be lined up, okay? So I think that is right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close it so that it sticks to my um, plastic sheet. And then I'm going to pull in my imaging sheet. So this is just a piece of plastic that came with our old stamp apparatus or stamp imaging, sorry. Um, and 
this allow, will allow me to ink this up and then stamp it down to see if it lines up perfectly. All right, so instead of messing this up, this will this is like a test sheet, okay, because I can see through it. If you don't have the stamp -a -jig, um, you can use like a window sheet or any kind of just a little bit heavier plastic works, okay? So now I'm gonna rotate this just so that I can set this down. And I'm gonna bring in some old olive ink. And now I'm going to stamp it down and we'll see how closely it lines up. Oh, that's really hard to see. Okay, that actually looks really good. Okay, so now I will move this out of the way. I'll re-ink my stamp. So if that didn't line up, then what I would do is I would just clean that I would reposition the stamp until it's in the right place and then stamp again. Try it again until I got it in just the right place. Okay. So now I'll apply some pressure. I'm getting blue all over my hands. There's a little bit of blue on here. Maybe blueberry bushel would be better. Yeah, it's probably it's a little bit darker, but these the detail on this second image is so fine. There we go. Look at that. Isn't it pretty? Let me hold it up a little closer. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. Okay, let's give this a wipe so we don't get green everywhere. And then we can move the stamp or the stamparatus out of the way. Okay, so now I'm going to bring in the framelits or the dies, sorry. And I'm going to use this outline image. Going to bring in my big shot, and we will run it through and cut it out. And I want to point out that these new dies that we carry. Remember how the old ones, you had to kind of line them up so that you had a, an even white border all the way around? These new dies, they fit nice and snug, so they're easier to line up. You don't have to worry about getting that space perfectly even all the way around. You just line it up with the edge of your stamp, and it's perfect. Okay, that looks good. Can I bring it up a little higher? Yeah, I will. I'll do that far, but just let me cut it and I'll bring it up higher so you can see. I also thought that it would be absolutely stunning if that second image, or that second image that you stamp was embossed. Wouldn't that be amazing? Just to give it a little bit of sparkle. How's that? Is that better? So you can see how those little dots are meant to line up with the framelit. So that kind of gives you an idea that you've got it in the right place. And then these dots, that's kind of what I use. I use these ones up here to see how, to show how, or to tell if it's lined up. I don't know, it still doesn't show very much detail on there. It looks kind of blurry on my screen. Okay, so now we are going to pull in We've got a car, our card base, so I used Whisper White thick card stock, measuring five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Um, and that's gonna be our card base, so I'm gonna fold that in half. I love using thick Whisper White um, for, our, for my card base because um, it's just a little heavier than our regular Whisper White. Good morning, Carla. Okay, so now I've got another piece of Whisper White cardstock. This piece is a little bit smaller, so this piece measures three and three quarters by five. And I'm gonna use some dimensionals to pop this little peacock up. Yes, Wink of Stella on this peacock would be gorgeous. To add a little sparkle, or even, even just using shimmer white cardstock, like I did, was it a couple weeks ago I used shimmer white? Um, shimmer white would be good too because it would just add a little bit of shimmer. 
The other thing that I think would be great is to stamp it on vellum and then emboss in clear because you can emboss in any color. So, so many things, but I had to come up with something quick for today because it was last night that I was designing it and it's my last project before I leave on holidays. So once I do this and my blog post for today, then that is it. I am done work for two weeks. All right, let's see here. So I'm gonna position him right about there. Okay, so now I've got a piece of this gorgeous specialty DSP. So this is the Pretty Peacock pattern and it measures the same size as the card front. So it measures four and a quarter by five and a half. But what I wanna do is I wanna stick this down and then stick this over top. Well, all of that stuff underneath, like this is such beautiful paper. I don't want that to be wasted by covering it over. So I'm gonna trim this up a little bit so I can conserve that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in my paper trimmer. I'm going to line up the right edge of the, car the DSP with the one inch mark and I'm going to cut down to, this is five and a half inches, so I'm gonna cut down to four and a half inches. So that will leave me a one inch border at the bottom and the right. And then I'm gonna rotate it a quarter of a turn, line up the bottom with the one inch mark, and then cut to my slip. So now I'm just using this little bit and I can save this for another project. Okay, so instead of wasting all that space or all that pretty patterned paper underneath where nobody's gonna see it, I've conserved that little extra. All right, um, Amy asked, did you emboss the white layer? No, I didn't. That would be pretty if you embossed it, but I just left it. It's just a plain white piece of cardstock. That would be really pretty if it was shimmer white too. Hindsight, hey, but that's okay. All right, so now I'm gonna stick this on first. Use my adhesive. And I'm going to line it up with the left side and the bottom, and then it should line up on the right. So that doesn't look very good, but we're covering it over, so all is good. Now I'm gonna add adhesive to my layer. And then this I'm going to line up with the top left corner. Just like that. So now we have this pretty specialty DSP showing around the edge. Okay, so now let's do our greeting. I've got a half inch strip of Whisper White cardstock and I'm going to take the greeting that says, here's to an exciting future full of new adventures. We're gonna use some old olive ink. And I'll just stamp that down. I apologize if my head's in the way. is a little crooked. Let's see if we can get it better on the other side. That's better. Okay, so we'll take that. I'm going to trim the ends at an angle, which seems to be something I've been doing a lot lately. It's funny how you go through phases, hey? Does anybody else find that they do that? Okay, make sure I got the right side. And what I'll do is I'll put just a little bit of just regular adhesive here because that's gonna sit on top of the peacock. And then I'll put a dimensional on this side so that it's popped up. Hello, Auntie Donna. Okay. All right, so now I've got my greeting. And then I'm going to take, it needs a little bit of, of something. So I am going to use the woven thread sequence. I love this sequence, you know why? Because it comes in all of the new in colors. So 
Um, I wanted to use some peacock and then I thought I'd bring in, I wanted a lighter color. So I brought in some of the purple posy as well. So I'm gonna use my take your pick tool so I can pick out exactly what I want. I want a big, a big um, pretty peacock. I want a medium pretty peacock. I want a big purple posy. Oh, I got a little, this guy will go down here. And then I want a medium purple posy to go down here. And yeah, so we're gonna stick with five. I love using odd numbers. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I've got them kind of where I want them. So now I'll just use a little dot of Tombow and then use the tip of my scissors to put them in place. So much easier using this take your pick tool with this little sticky end. You don't get your fingers all gluey or gluey, all sticky. Okay, and this guy, let's put this guy over here. So what does everybody have planned for the weekend? Or for Canada Day, it's a long weekend, isn't it? Oh. Okay, there we go. So the outside of our card is done. So let's just cover these things up. Now we're gonna stamp the inside. So I wanted to use the So Very Proud of You. And yes, it is very handy. Oh, and of course my phone's gonna ring. Okay, so I'm gonna stamp the So Very Proud of You with the peacock on the inside of the card. And then I'm gonna use some old olive. Oh, Amy's taking her mother-in-law out for lunch. Cher is going out with friends tomorrow night, uh, celebrating her mom's birthday. Peggy, if you're still online, happy birthday, Peggy. I think it's a couple days late. I think it was a couple days ago, wasn't it, or yesterday? Okay, so now I've got this little flourish that was also in, that is also in the Pretty Peacock. or the Royal Peacock, sorry. I keep wanting to call it Pretty Peacock um, stamp set. And I'm just gonna stamp a couple of these just to bring in that second color. There we go. And the card is finished. So what do you guys think? Isn't it a beautiful suite? I just love it. Let me show you the foil. The foil that comes with this is stunning. This is my favorite color and you can tell because I'm being stingy and I haven't used it yet. <laughs> so that's the pretty peacock. Here's the blueberry bushel. And then this is what I have left of old olive. I've used so much of the old olive. So let me, can you see? Oh yeah, you guys can see the shimmer, hey? So pretty. And you combine that with the patterns or the specialty paper. Love it. So many great projects that you can create with this. And the great thing about this is this, you can use this with anything. It doesn't necessarily have to be with the Royal Peacock bundle, right? But it's so pretty. All right. Thank you very much. Um, oh, Barb is glamping. <laughs> okay, um, let's see here. Amy says, I wish we still had the Grapefruit Grove. Yes, the Grapefruit Grove would be pretty with this. And the, the lovely lipstick. I love that they're coming out with more colors in the foil. The foil is just so pretty. Okay, so remember that if you want to get in, uh, in my, on my 15-year celebration, all the details are on my blog. I mentioned them at the beginning of this video too if you want to go back and listen. Um, 
I will not be live for the next two Fridays, so it won't be until the 19th, which will be my exact 15 year anniversary. Um, so I won't be live again until then, but I do have some videos that will post. So be sure to check my YouTube channel or my blog so that you don't miss out. I've still got everything scheduled, so you'll still hear from me. And I might actually pop in and just do a couple quick Facebook Lives if I can get Wi-Fi um, at some fun places. All right, so thanks so much for watching and you guys have a great couple weeks and uh, yeah, we'll talk to you soon.